In the last decades, Angola became a widely renowned country for many investors and businessmen. In Angola's growth and development, many envision the opportunity of also making their investments and companies succeed. This is the portrait of present-day Angola and of the businessmen that have been making history in this great country. Angola is living an extraordinary and unique moment of its history, being considered one of the most important promoters of the continent's development. Since the end of the war, Angola has become a reference in Africa, and not only because of the fast pace of its economy. The increasing cultural and religious diversity and a long-standing political stability have helped to strengthen the image of today's Angola, a country open to the world with all its cultural and spiritual differences. Today, Angola is reinventing itself, creating a new strategic positioning in the global economy and making the country the first investment choice in Africa. Do you want to know why? Why Angola? Angola is a perfect storm for business. They have a lot of capacity, and then we, are, we saw that if you compare to other African countries, the client here, yeah, they have a lot of potential. You have a market that was left in the 60s that needs absolutely everything, nobody to supply them and the cash to pay for it. In terms of infrastructure, uh, communications, technology, education, is um, highly prepared for strong development. Uh, the Angolan population is highly compromised with the growth of, of, of their country and is highly, highly ambitious. And what about the Angolan economy? With more than one million square kilometers, blessed with extraordinary landscapes, 1,650 kilometers of an amazing coastline and numerous natural resources to be discovered, Angola has three million hectares of arable land, excellent climactic conditions, abundant water and large areas for pasture. Angola has large deposits of copper, manganese, phosphates, salt, mica, lead, tin, gold, silver, and platinum. It is the second largest oil producer in sub-Saharan Africa and the world's fifth largest diamond producer. In fact, more than 50% of Angolan diamond fields have yet to be explored. And when people look at other uh, markets in Sub-Saharan Africa, if you take the GDPs of Namibia, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Congo, Mozambique, Tanzania, add them all together, it doesn't add up to the uh, GDP of Angola. This is just so one realizes the growth, the potential that's in this market when everybody's concentrating on the other ones. Angola is definitely a star in Africa's marketplace. There are many opportunities that we see here in Angola, especially in agropecuaria, agroindustria, transformador de alimentos. Be prepared for once you enter the Angola market is not to fulfill and to really um, get to the expectations that you established in the beginning, but be ready for uh, larger expectations. Angola's economy is now gathering momentum with robust GDP growth supported by strong fiscal and external balances, a stable exchange rate, and moderate inflation. According to World Bank's forecasts, Angola's GDP is expected to grow by 6.5% in 2015, and in 2016, it's expected to grow even more, 6.8%. With single-digit inflation, Angola has implanted a successful policy of inflation stabilization. Inflation fell from 9.02% in 2012 to 7.70% at the end of 2013. With the stable exchange rate, the Kwanzaa is becoming stronger, impacting the demand for goods and services within the country. And a more transparent and fair economy is being developed. 
In order to be compliant with international regulations regarding fraud and money laundering, Angola has created a financial intelligence unit and has approved an anti-money laundering law. More recently, the Economic Committee of the Council of Ministers approved the establishment of a working group in charge of the preparation and negotiation of a proposal for intergovernmental agreement in course of the implementation of the new U.S. Fiscal Regulation, Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act. Improvements in the investment climate and in the financial regulatory structure have enabled the rapid expansion of the banking sector and according to a recent study of Ernst & Young, Angola is the fourth largest recipient of foreign investment in Sub-Saharan Africa. Okay, and is it easy to start a business in Angola? Launching your business in Angola is actually quite simple compared to African, other African countries and other countries around the world, other emerging markets. Unlike other African countries, Angola is really prepared itself to welcome foreign investors with institutions such as ANIP, which is the Foreign Direct Investment Department of the Angolan government, which allows investors such as myself to own 100% of a local Angolan entity, which then gives us freedom to move our cash in and out freely, own 100% of our company, pay dividends outside, etc. Another great point to mention is that the Angolan government has a, a institution called Guichet Unico. With Guichet Unico, if you don't want to own 100% of your investment, you want to have a local partner. Literally, they're so organized that you can have a company set up within a week. And what about your business? The próximo três anos temos 15 lojas para abertura. Hoje estamos a empregar 450 funcionários e estamos a atender 6.400 clientes por dia. Hoje nosso investimento chega a 33 milhões de dólares e próximo três anos vai chegar a 168 milhões de dólares de investimentos. To Anova every year it's 70 million US dollars and every year we have we increase our turnover 20 percent to 20 percent when we start our uh, trading company we had 50 people now we have almost 500 people so we create job better life skill training our revenues have been very very promising we last year we closed just around 50 million dollars which based on our initial investment eight years ago of just under 200,000 is quite impressive and quite happy with our return on investment. Great changes are also taking place in the corporate environment, which is becoming progressively richer and more heterogeneous. I remember 15 years ago, it was not infrastructure, but when you look now at the moment, we have infrastructure, we have construction everywhere, so the country changed a lot. So this is really, there is a big, big, big change from that time until today, there is a big change. We've been in the Angola market for three years now with local presence. The actual, the market has evolved so fast, so quick in all different ways that the opportunities you have when entering, when establishing the Angola market is that you find a, a market, you find a population, you find an industry that is ready to grow. In the last 12 years, I practically saw an Angola totally different. When I came today, when I see Angola, it's a country very different, with a lot of infrastructure, with a lot of technology. And the country is growing in a very, very advanced way. In the last eight years, the greatest changes have been everything. It's amazing. We are making our case. Angola is the first investment choice in Africa for those committed to succeed in the future.